Hi everyone, I was watching a tutorial video on Unreal Engine 5's Lumen by William Foucher and he mentioned something uh, about uh, maybe a little bit annoyed by the fact that he has to call console command to play around with a certain value uh, related to Lumen. So I figured there's probably more uh, people out there that are annoyed by the fact that you have to use console command sometimes. So we're gonna work around that and create one solution that you can always use to play around with console variables, console commands, or you know, make your life a little bit easier when working with Unreal. So it's going to be three parts, and the, and the first part is going to be very basic, then we're going to move on. This is my first time doing anything in Unreal Engine 5, so I'm super excited, and especially because I get to work with editor utility widgets, which I love. Uh, but yeah, if you see this, it's probably went okay. Uh, first, I'm going to add a content browser, because I don't want to press control space all the time. I like the fact that it's in there, but yeah. And we should look for editor utilities, if they're not enabled by default, which I expect them to be. Editor utilities, they're enabled by default. You can also follow this tutorial on 4.26, 4.27, up to 4.20, I think, when they added editor utility widgets. Maybe need .22, I'm not sure. Um, and we're going to create two. One is going to be editor utility widget WBE mm, command base is fine. And we're going to create another one. And we're just going to call that console. I'm going to just save both. And I'm going to open command base. Now for this first part, we will just add a button that executes a console command. So say you have stat FPS, you want to use that a lot. We're going to create a button for that. So button or a base for that. And I think I'm going to add a horizontal box just to have things appear a little prettier. And we're going to add the button to the horizontal box. I'm going to add some text to our button. Probably scale that down a little because you know it's pretty big and make this a little bit smaller we have a button we're gonna go in no wait we need to make the text editable first first a variable so with the text selected select is variable I'm gonna call it um, text name and we're gonna go into the graph and then delete construct and event tick we're gonna use event pre-construct grab our text name get and we're gonna do set text set text and we're gonna promote this to a variable called name that's the name that we want to give it now the next part is important you need to make sure that with name selected the instance is editable you can also click the little eye icon over there as I'm poking my own eye um, and that is that we'll go back to the designer and we will select the button Maybe we'll give it a default value, so it doesn't look like that. We'll say name as the default value for the variable called name. Now with the button selected, we'll go into the details panel, scroll all the way down and on clicked or pressed or released on not hovered or on hovered, doesn't matter. We're gonna go with clicked and we're just gonna do execute console command. And we need to promote the command to a variable and we'll call this, uh, yeah, let's call it console command. All right, that's pretty clear. Click that little eye icon over there. And um, that's the first basic, that's basically the end already to this, uh, the first part, but let's actually execute it, create an example. I'm gonna create a scroll box in the WBE console. Drag that in, scroll box. And I'm gonna look for WBE command base. So now we have a base in there. You know, we can add a lot of them in there. They're gonna be neatly underneath each other. We can now change the text and we're going to call this FPS and let's say stat FPS. You know, that's a very, we all know that one. We all use that one. Let's add an extra one, call it unit and do stat unit. And now when we right mouse button WBE console and run the edit editor utility widget, <laughs> you can now press FPS for the FPS unit for the unit, press it again to remove it, you know, just, uh, it's going to be a lot easier. Now, if you put that in here, you're going to always have that close by. I'm probably going to scale this down a little bit and uh, that one as well. But yeah, that, that basically concludes the first part of this tutorial. I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. <laughs>